Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Rules for today. Yeah, it's going to be the next short one made for the uh, World Championships, so you can have something to look at in the breaks between the games and stuff like that. Okay, this is going to be another round of 2v2v2v2. Um, yeah. I'm using this replay to show you one thing I talked about in one of the past replays, it was sometimes um, people try to rush other teams pretty fast. Um, they sometimes use tanks and stuff like that. But th the problem with these 2v2v2 things is if, for example, Team Blue rushed Team Purple with lots of tanks, then they have to invest a lot of money in their tanks and then the problem is if team yellow is smart and sees that they can pr try to harass team blue then and mess him up so that's not that smart to invest uh, your money into rush with expensive units but what i also said in that episode was if you try to do a rush very very early it can work pretty good but you have to use very cheap units to do that yeah and this is what this round is for to show you how that can work. Um, the teams, yeah, I'm going to stay on the view from Team Blue. Even though Team Red has Warzip and his friend in it. They're very nice players, very cool players. Um, they're friends of Into the Story also. I think maybe Into the Story, or they all know each other. I don't know. But I'm going to stay on the view of Team Blue to show you this little thing. It can work very well. Because, mainly, some people in the beginning of the game, get admins right away and stuff like that, or try to uh, research the very heavy units fast to have some uh, nice defense. And in that case, it can be very ugly if you do a rush, like this guy is going to do it here, Intel. Intel Destroyer says about him, about 39 Intel, that he's a very, very good player. And if Intel Destroyer says that, I believe it right away. Sadly, I haven't been able to have a game where Intel was in yet. I would like, love to see him play, but this game is not going to show how very good he is because it's a short one. He's going to do a very nice job, that's for sure, but it's a short one. So he can do more than this. I'm very sure about that. Okay, so let's look what they're going to be doing here. Okay. 39 Intel is getting a barracks here and putting a barracks here. Why is he choosing these two positions? Sure, his enemy can see that he's got a barracks here. That's why why use the ruse if you can use a different. The other barracks he's putting here. It's going to be under camouflage net so the enemies can't see he's got two barracks. Because then they could maybe be thinking, okay, what is he trying to do? Next thing is the truck's going out here. Enemies don't even know yet what it is. They could think it's maybe a supply dump or something like that. But smart thing, they're getting out recon very fast. So they'll see this truck soon. Yeah. Intel's getting two supply dumps. And he has his uh, barracks to research very fast. And because he has that many barracks, because this one's going to be a barracks too, he can produce very fast. Yeah, Intel Dest uh, Destroyer is getting out a few recons everywhere. Okay, now the barracks is building up. Sure, Team Purple, they've got a, a armor base, they've got a barracks, but also they've got an admin. That means they invested a lot of their money into admins, and they can't invest that money into units anymore. Sure, the next guy is getting an armor base, no problem. Okay, Intel's going in with a large heavy infantry troop on this side of the bridge. That's why most of the units from Team Purple are going to try to go over here and stop this stuff. But he's very smart, he's going to put another troop from this side. And then it's going to be very difficult. Yeah, Intel Destroyer got an airfield. So he can support with planes very fast on different kinds of uh, positions. Yeah, and now they got Blitz and Fanatism. And they're in the base already, so they're gonna mess up tanks pretty good. Yeah, and this troop, because he split up the troops over two bridges, it's very difficult for the enemy to defend. 
Yeah. And this is the only rush I would say can work very good in the beginning without using too much money. Because if it doesn't work, okay, not bad. 10 infantry cost 50 bucks. What is the problem? If it doesn't work, okay, but even if it doesn't work, you'll do lots of damage because heavy infantry are so nasty. Yeah, he's taken over the supply dumps right away as if it was nothing. He took over a few buildings already. Nice job. Okay, same time. Intel destroyer over here. Yeah, he's putting his planes over there fast as possible, trying to support his teammate as much as he can. Yeah, and now he's even got a barracks inside of the base. Very nasty. And if he can take over the headquarters here, then it's over. Yeah. So now Team Purple, okay, he's got one infantry guy left. And he's gonna try. No. Okay, Team Purple gave up. Best thing they can do, it was too much of damage on their side already. And yeah. 39 intel. Sure, he's gonna do his job. Take down everything. Take over the buildings. He's gonna take over the administration. The admin very soon. He's gonna take over the supply dump. He took over this one already. So now they got double income very fast. Yeah. Now I would say let's go double speed. He built himself a barracks over here. Yeah, I, th I think this uh, 39 Intel guy, he's very effective also. Sure, why spam out too many buildings? He just built what he needs. Exactly. The first thing you should do... Our team Red was doing a little bombing run back here and Intel took him down. Okay, first thing, if you take over a base like this, the first... Um, Danger is probably going to be planes, bombers that want to take you down. So that's why very nice decision to get a um, AA base. Yeah, he's spreading some AA everywhere now to secure this base a little bit. Yeah, they're messing up every unit that's getting too close. Intel Destroyer got himself some admins. Why not? He didn't have to produce that many units. All he had to get was planes and he used them wisely so he didn't lose none of them. And now he can invest all of his money into admins. Also because he's getting lots of money from over here. Yeah. That's I think a pretty cool rush strategy. It's one of the only ones I think can work pretty good even against pros. Because lots of pros in the beginning also invest their money into economy very fast. And then they get shocked. Okay, here comes some more heavy infantry guys. Yeah, if they got blitz and something, they're gonna mess this panzer up too. Dangerous, dangerous. Okay, tank is down. Yeah, but this one's over. All I was gonna do is show you how effective it can be in the beginning with the infantry rush. Yeah, okay, Team Yellow didn't watch because 39 Intel took over the barracks here and now it can produce infantry and take everything over. Okay, that was a mistake from Team Yellow. But the main reason for this video was this little rush here. He did a very nice job and see now they got lots of admins already. Got lots of money coming in back here. Yeah, that's why Warzip and his friend surrendered. They know it's over already. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised if we'll have some more games from this Intel guy um, coming. Maybe I'll be lucky and ha play with him too. Because everybody... Intel Destroy says it's good. I'm very interesting to see how he plays in a long game, for example. Okay, yeah. Now he's getting lots of priests over here. Very nasty. To this, he's in his base and also destroying everything in the base from the enemy. Very nice job. Yeah, he moved his AA guns that were standing here over here. Why? Keep him here. You need him in here now.
Yeah. So, just a short one. Just a little one for fun. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one also. Then, I hope you have lots of fun watching the soccer world championships. I will have. And I think I'm going to do one or two replays this week. And then I would say, see you next time. Bye bye.